We, um, we had our 3 million images. We thought that was huge. We were rocking and rolling along. And we got the greatest call that could have ever happened to us in 2008. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the George Michael sports machine. It was come on in the 80s on Sunday nights. It was a precursor to, to ESPN. George is a buddy of mine. And I uh, knew him for years. And George called me. And he said, John, the Detroit news is uh, they're going under. They're going to close within days. And they're selling any assets they have. They have 2 million photos and negatives. And they, they called me to see if I could find a buyer. Um, we went in. Let me turn around and see what you just put up here. Um, uh, jump past this a little bit, Corn. Basically, we went in and um, um, we went in and purchased the Detroit News um, all in one purchase, which, you know, we went from 3 million images. Now we went to 2 million images in one purchase. That... Um, what that did for us is it showed us that we could grow quickly. And uh, what it forced us to do, though, is uh, the business model is digitizing the images. When you purchase 2 million images, they're just in dusty old boxes and file folders. You can't do anything with them. Uh, no one at ESPN or no one at HBO is going to know what's even there. So what we have to do first is digitize those images. Um, we have to take – I'm jumping all over this thing, right? <laughs> She's looking at me. <laughs> um, what we have to do is, the first thing we have to do is take those images, and they have to be digitized. A lot of them have to even be cleaned with editor's marks. They have to be uh, digitally repaired from holes, creases, everything. They have to be made new. And through digital technology, the beauty of it is you can make them better than they were in the beginning. Um, we can take a photo. Can you? Th this is them cleaning the photo. Can you do the before and after, Carmen, on how we actually clean the... Um, these are just different machines we have. This is a photo. This is a photo of, uh, I don't even know what this is from, some movie, Jane Fonda and Barbarella. Okay. As you can see on this image here, they didn't want this guy in the photo. They vexed him out. They put a box around Jane Fonda and they wanted just this headshot. Well, for us, you know, you can use that, but you're only, you're going to be relegated to just this right here. So what we do, our archivist will remove all of this. This all take, is taken away and come into a newer, clearer picture where with digital technology you can point and click and, and crop down on anything instantly. So if you wanted just her face, her entire body, him, the whole image, it's easily done. You don't have to manually crop anymore. So we do this with millions of images. We have, uh, fast forward, Detroit News uh, purchase once that happened. Here's another one. Uh, this is a Warner Brothers image. And who is that, Natalie Wood? Same thing. They don't ever want the guy. They always want the good-looking girl. So they cropped him out. They, they, they airbrushed him out or put paint on him. And they only want Natalie Wood right here. And then this is what we can turn it into. Now the image is usable. Um, what we do for the papers when we went to Detroit News, same thing here. Detroit News, we went in and we said, your images are great. We'll take them. We gave them a seven-figure check. And we also said, we're going to digitize them for you and return a digital library back to you. What that enables them to do, instead of them having two million photos in a room, that they have a librarian looking for them all over the place, they now, at their fingertips digitally, can type in anything they want to. If they're doing a story on Terry Hartwick and go to, in the old days, they'd pull the Terry Hartwick folder, there may be 100 images in there, but digitally, Terry would have been in, being the busy, active life he's had, there'd be <laughs> images of him, boards, and, and, and being mayor, and at North Rock football games, and in high school. So instead of just having the images in the Terry Hartwick folder, Digitally, all two million images come up. If Terry's name is in any image, even if it's his home, if it's his Terry Hartwick's home, or Terry's son, or Terry's wife, Gina, those images will come up. So you get a clear picture now of what, what is in the archive. It's, it's invaluable to the paper. So the Detroit News fell in love with it. They, they needed our seven-figure check. And what they really fell in love with was the archive. Once they got this back and could search it digitally, they became big believers. In fact, they love that more than the seven-figure check. Um, they called the Detroit Free Press. They said, you got to deal with these guys. You guys are going broke, too. We, we didn't have plans. Once we bought the Detroit News, I thought, I'm done. Wow. I've gone from three million to five million images. I never need to do anything else. The Free Press calls. they got another million images. We do that. Then it turned into Chicago Daily News, Chicago Sun-Times, the Denver Post, Denver Evening Post, Detroit News, Detroit Times, Detroit Journal, Tribune, Detroit Free Press. Um, We've purchased just in the last 18 to 24 months 
33 million images. And we're able to do that. This is our warehouse right here in North Little Rock. This is what I love about it. It is a big secret. We're right here down here on Poplar. We don't put signs out. We don't advertise. But we've got the world's largest private holding of vintage photography in the world. It's right here on Poplar in two warehouses. We, uh, they come in like this from the papers. Uh, in the papers, they were in meticulous order because they had to go manually pull these. They come in from the papers. We leave them like this. We've got a staff in North Little Rock of right at 50. It'll go down from 45 to 55. Um, we've got another 230 employees in India. That's why I never run for public office here. Um, what we do is we, we do all the manual work here in North Little Rock. We, we physically clean the photos. We physically scan the images front and back. Um, the images then go to India digitally. They don't physically go there, and they add all of what we call the metadata. It's every piece of information that's on that photo, whether it be the date, the month, the year, uh, who it is, what they were doing, who the photographer was, who the news agency is. So instantly, again, once that metadata is associated, if you want to search just by June 1st of 1956, you can find every image in that archive that was ever associated with that day. You just want to search by Dallas, Texas. Any image that mentions Dallas, Texas will be there. So the metadata comes back to us. Uh, it's returned to the paper. Um, how do we make money? Well, we own the original photos. We can sell those, uh, which is a big, big business. I own a company in Chicago called Legendary Auctions. Uh, last year, total sales at Legendary, I don't know, we'll hit 20-something million in total sales. Uh, we do single standalone photo auctions uh, that average about a half a million per, per evening. We don't do it every evening. Per, per event, we do. Um, so we're able to liquidate the physical prints. Uh, the fact that we have captured them digitally, we don't need the original anymore. Um, we return the digital archive back to the paper, which they, they keep the rights to their staff photos. We get the rest. And where we are today is we are taking all 33 million images, and we are uh, building our own database to where instead of um, the image I mentioned earlier of Sparky Anderson, it was used by Bloomberg News yesterday. They lease that from Getty Images. Right now, Getty hosts a lot of our images. Uh, we plan on putting a big den in Getty's market. They're aware of it. I'm not saying anything that they're not aware of, but they've got 80 million images. They've been around since 94. Of their 80 million, probably 72 are modern stock photography they've taken, just things in the last few years. Uh, of our 33 million images and growing, uh, probably 90% are vintage. So for the vintage market, they can't recreate vintage images. They can't go back and get Babe Ruth. Um, we've got them all. At this point, we've got um, pretty much all of the Gannett papers. We have a choice of whoever we want to deal with. Um, most, any of the archives that are, are attractive to us, we've already, you know, we've, we've already either hemmed them up through an option or, or already, already purchased them. Um, in probably another year, two years max, we'll be done with acquisitions. Um, so that's where we are. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a growing, thriving business. We've been very, very blessed. Uh, a lot of people say, boy, you're smart to do this. I'm just real lucky. It was good timing. Um, and I'm not certainly it wasn't because of my brains. But we're thrilled to be able to, that we're creating the jobs in North